Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how Citadel is 821% more likely to go under, how people are failing to buy AMC, and what Wall Street is doing to prevent AMC squeeze, and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, I'm going to take a look at the chart first for AMC and A. Now, AMC on a Friday, we were down 1.26%. Now, this was to be expected when we talked about it in the previous Sunday outlook. We had a very good start to the week. We had a very good start to the end of last week as well. So we had the price contesting, of course, towards that resistance up top, but failing to, of course, break it meant we would have got the rejection coming in. So because we failed to break and close within the 505 and 518, we saw the price rejecting. Now, aside from technical factors, there is also, of course, or other factors that's of course affecting it as well which we'll be covering on later on in the video but for amc you know the fact we did contest it is still a very very good sign and we did close above the 462 and 453 zone now taking a look at the candle it does show that we do have str strong sellers coming in for amc right now even if it's not sellers which we know is not the case we, we do know that there is still strong um, downward pressure on amc as well so that's of course what we have to worry about now what we have to understand firstly for amc is that in order for us to see us keep breaking upwards we need to see it close within certain zones so that's why next week i'll be more, making a more detailed video but we need to see the close within this 505 and 518 zone now if we take a look at eight on the other hand so it was actually up 2.96 now this candle what you can see here is actually a strong sign of a very very bullish candle firstly this is everything we covered in order to see ape goat continues going up we need to break out that consolidation which is exactly what we did for ape hence why we're seeing bias come in but again taking a look at where we are right now Whilst we did have strong buyers coming in, we were obviously met with sellers at the top. Now, again, this is still a very, very bullish candle, but I'll be talking about more later on in terms of what we can do to, of course, get AMC to go up higher. But taking a look at some of the news first. So this is to do with what we're talking about with Ape and AMC. So if the Ape conversion and reverse split were no big deal, it would have happened months ago without incident, no lawsuit, no special master, no endless assets from shields. This is all because someone does not want it to happen. I wonder who that be. Now, personally, in my opinion i do think that this is the way that wall street is of course preventing the amc squeeze now comment down below what you guys think about this the reason why i say this is if you go back to what we've seen previously from crystal boom if we had just one ticket for people to buy instead of having to decide whether to buy amc or ape we would run so much more another reason why i can't wait for a conversion so when we take a look at AMC and we understand exactly the reason why. So AMC was obviously down 1.26% on the Friday, but we know that Ape was actually up 296 on the Friday. And so this will all be in one ticker if AMC and Ape were to obviously be the same ticker, if there's only one stock. So if Ape were to be converted to AMC, people would have bought Ape today, would have just bought into AMC. Now, a very simple method to understand this is if you have $1,000, you could choose between buying 500 on AMC, buying 500 at Ape, or choosing a whole $1,000 on Ape instead of AMC. But if it's only just AMC, then people who are buying into Ape will have to buy AMC, the vice, um, you know, vice versa, of course, if you were to buy AMC, um, you won't be buying Ape. And if that were to, of course, happen, what we would have saw on the volume today, uh, on the Friday and on the Thursday, we would have saw on AMC. So instead of that rejection that we saw upon that 505 and 518, if every buying power was going to one particular target, we would have actually saw volume and momentum coming in to break into that 505 and 518 and potentially even break and close above the zone. Of course, that would put us into a very good position. And that's why I personally think conversion is of course good. I think that is very good to concentrate buying power into one instead of splitting it into two. Um, again, comment down below what you guys think about that. Now, the next thing we have is from Crystal Ball as well. It talks about how come we didn't see a big spike in AMC price last two weeks when there was 15 to 20 million worth of FTTs due each day from May 30th to June 12th. And now suddenly the FTD totals are way down. Reset transactions, fake locate magic like that. Option used to fake locate. We have already talked about 10 different ways how firms can, of course, fake locate AMC, how they're able to, of course, find, quote unquote, more shares for AMC. Now, 
we just have to understand is that the real shares they are finding are not actually real shares of AMC. For example, in the past, they used crypto as a one-to-one, -one, meaning that one AMC crypto token would have equated to one real AMC shares, when obviously they didn't actually have one AMC shares. There is a ton of different ways as well. We covered 10 and the crypto wasn't even converted into that. You know, there's share swaps, you know, there's total return swaps, etc., etc. And so this is what we're seeing right now. Of course, they're resetting transactions. They're using fake locates. And what they're doing in, order, in, in terms of doing that is, of course, finding that power to, of course, bring AMC down. So when you see the price reject, firstly, we understand that this 505 and 518 is indeed a very strong zone for AMC. It is a pivotal zone for AMC, because if that was not the case, why would they need to bring down the price when we hit, of course, 505 and 518? You guys can see on the Tuesday when the price broke within it, it was immediately brought back down. And again, the same on Wednesday as well. That's how we know that this zone is very very pivotal but we also know from this in terms of other factors is of course the ftds and so what they're doing right now is of course just finding more ways to suppress the price because if they don't suppress the price obviously the price will shoot up and it will go against them and the billions of synthetics that they have and so this is something that they are doing right now and this is what they're doing to, in order to prevent the amc squeeze and of course just trying to suppress the amc price now to talk about why citadel has 821 percent more likely to go under reason what we're talking about is from gmail talks about just a reminder fdx went under with 8 billion securities not yet purchased ken griffin citadel has 65.7 billion securities not yet purchased that's 821.3 percent more risk now also do want to say is that this is not including of course the offshores that they have as well because we know offshore don't need to be reported so whilst we're looking at the number 65.7 billion when in fact the number could be way bigger for all we know it could be at 70 80 or even 100 billion and more so when we take a look at this first you have to understand now of course there are different situations there are different circumstances in the ftx is of course a different company from citadel but we have to understand is that when fts was taking risky bets it went against them and we know that citadel is also infamous for taking a risky bet as well a, bear, a big reminder is of course in gme and also amc and so when we understand this we know that they are not putting themselves in a very very secure position we have already seen how hedge funds are losing money how short sellers are spending a lot of money just to even hold on to amc shorts that's not even to talk about how much they've lost from the shorts we also know that investors are pulling out of hedge funds as well so so many factors indicating that in the hedge funds world right now not everyone is actually safe not everyone is making it out to be you know how it is how glorious it is because that is not the case and in this case citadel definitely do seem like they are in a very very deep position and so if we were to see FTX go under with just 8 billion, just imagine what will happen if the 65.7 billion is not controlled properly and again, how it would backfire against them. So again, understanding that AMC right now is going up, it would of course put their position in a, to a dire risk. That's why when we see AMC go to pivotal zones, that's why when we see AMC shoot up, we see either halt, we see either just FDA, FTD resets, we see synthetics being made, we see just suddenly billions of shorts coming in, we see fake cryptos. That's all for the one sole purpose of making these hedge funds not bust. But what we have to understand is that every time they do this, they are spending a large amount of money just to make it happen. And it will come to a point where they no longer have money, when it's no longer correct for them to do it, or the regulation just has deemed it to be too big of a risk. We know that regulations are more likely to be on hedge fund side because if one or two AMC investors go down, it isn't a big deal. But if big firms like Citadel with over 65.7 billion securities not yet purchased, it goes down, then that is of course a big situation and they are willing to open a blind eye um, on it. But when it gets too big, they will no longer do so. And now looking at how they're failing to buy AMC, again, just a different way for how they prevent buys from coming into AMC. So what we see is from We The People, who talks about, I go to purchase AMC sh shares today and I get a canceled transaction with a warning stating, SEC requires I acknowledge the risk in trading penny stocks. I didn't know AMC was a penny stock. What the hell is going on? Anyways, I acknowledge and put my order in. I should have taken a screenshot. Now, if any of you guys are also experiencing these um, particular messages or problems, comment down below. I'm curious to see how many people get it. But one way we can see from this is firstly, for example, if someone who isn't in AMC for the squeeze, if they just see that AMC is a good investment because it is, it's a 
company that is really, really undervalued right now in the industry that is, of course, growing. So, of course, they want to buy in. But now imagine if you're a new beginner or you're just someone who wants a safe investment. And when you put in a, a buy order, you suddenly get this message that you acknowledge the risk in trading penny stocks. When bear in mind, if you were to buy the stocks of Apple, Amazon, you obviously wouldn't get this message. Imagine how that would put investors off. Imagine how that would prevent new people from coming into AMC. Obviously, the people who are already in AMC understand that this is not the case. But the people who are not, or even the people who are shaky, when they see this message, it obviously gives them the wrong idea and prevents people from buying AMC. It prevents the AMC squeeze and it just prevents the price from going up. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.